Hey everyone, and Zoe here from Living With A Sleeve. Um, thanks so much for joining me for our regular Wednesday chat about anything and everything to do with a sleeve in life before, during and after the surgery. Um, today I just got asked when I was in the clinic about um, how much weight should we lose before the surgery? And I think that's an important question because I think most of the time we really only think about how much weight are we expected to lose after the surgery. So I just wanted to jump on and give you a really super quick rundown about how much we sort of expect before the surgery. Um, in I know in America sometimes it's a little bit different to in Australia and it might vary from clinic to clinic. So I can only give you my um, what we do in our clinic uh, and that is that we don't have any specific rules or hard and fast kind of rules around how much weight you need to lose before you're allowed to have surgery so the way that it works for our clinic is that we will pick up um, based on your BMI we'll give you a recommendation for how long you need to do the OptiFast before the surgery so if for example if your BMI is over 35 but less than 45 um, then we're looking at say say two weeks weeks um, and then it goes up from there. So some people need to do up to six weeks of OptiFast before the surgery and if you have a, a fatty liver or we know that you have the liver disease then we might add a little bit more on despite your BMI. So instead of if you normally had to do um, a two weeks of OptiFast we might make you do four weeks instead. Um, so we really don't mind about the number of kilos you lose before surgery. The key for us is that your liver is small and it's shrunk, so it's easier for the surgeon to actually get in and do the surgery. Usually speaking though, if you do three OptiFasts a day for um, before the surgery, then you will probably end up losing anywhere between a kilo to two and a half kilos a week. So that means that if somebody has done it for six weeks before the surgery, they could have lost, you know, up to you know, 10, 15 kilos before the surgery. And that's quite common. Um, but we wouldn't exclude you if somebody had come back in and they'd lost, um, you know, eight kilos or something. Okay. So I just wanted to put that out there. I know that some people, um, their surgeons will have a set number. So I'd love to hear what it was like for you and in your clinic, if you've already had a sleeve. Um, I'd love to hear whether or not they made you lose a specific amount of weight beforehand. Um, um, or how many weeks of OptiFast you had to do, or if you didn't have to do it at all. Um, some surgeons don't make people do OptiFast beforehand, despite what the guidelines say. Um, so it is a, a bit varied out there, but I guess what I'm trying to say is don't worry if you haven't lost you know, 10, 15, 20 kilos before the surgery. As long as you stick to the OptiFast, you'll be doing the right thing for your liver, and then your liver will thank you um, and it'll make it much easier for the surgeon to do the surgery, reducing the risk of the surgery overall. Um, so that's about it for me on that topic. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, as always, you know, we've got lots of stuff happening on the Living With A Sleeve website. So each um, fortnight I'm posting a blog on there. There's a little newsletter that you can sign up to if you'd like to keep abreast of all of the new content that's going up there. Um, and we've got a fabulous community happening happening at the moment as well. So we've got a great group of people in um, in our community and it's been such a fabulous pleasure getting to know everyone. So if you'd like to learn more about that, I'll post a link to that in the comments as well. Um, so I hope you have a lovely Wednesday. Please let me know if you've got any questions or topics that you'd like me to cover in one of the upcoming Wednesday Facebook Lives. Um, otherwise, I shall talk to you soon. All right, cheers guys, bye.